it's Hilary and this is another one of my videos for the Breakthrough Junior Challenge. Here I'll be sharing advice directly from the past finalists. To see the previous videos in this Breakthrough Junior Challenge series, go to the link in the description. There I share all my comprehensive and detailed advice on how to make an entry from how to film, how to choose a topic, how to do your research, everything else. So just go there to know more. A few weeks ago, I reached out to some friends I made while joining the challenge. And yes, we have made a community out of this competition. So I reached out to them and I asked them if they could give some advice for you guys this year. And they were kind enough to share their experiences, wisdom, and time to help you guys for this year's competition. So let's see what they've shared. I'm Shannon Hutchinson and my video on Hawking Radiation was a finalist in the Breakthrough Junior Challenge. E equals mc squared and the law of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. Also mean that nothing in a black hole is truly destroyed. Sure, everything that was taken in by the black hole was broken down to the tiniest atoms. But when that black hole evaporates, everything that that black hole ate is out there. Somewhere. My advice to anyone submitting a video would be that uh, we already trust that you know the science behind what you're trying to tell. The whole point of this competition and your video is supposed to be finding new creative ways to share that information to people who might not quite understand all the jargon. So my advice is just to have fun with it because if you're having fun with it, the people watching it are also having fun watching it. And that's what matters is the most, is what, what's, how can you make the science entertaining and most importantly, engaging? So think of weird ways that you can kind of show that off. For example, I did, I played a guitar making a song talking about the conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. I also had a little fun animation with weird looking electrons. <laughs> Just have fun with it. Be funny. Be exciting. Be engaging. Have fun with it. That's definitely my advice. That'll get you very far. Much farther than you think. Being a part of this competition was so much fun. I felt like at the finalist level, it wasn't so much a competition. It was more of a camaraderie. And you just have to enjoy uh, that you're a part of something really, really cool. And don't stress out about it too much. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, I'm Diego, and I'm one of the top finalists of the Breakthrough Junior Challenge of 2016. Imagine we're playing fetch with this dog on the beach. We throw the ball in the water for the dog to fetch, and as soon as this happens, the dog goes like... Which path would the dog need to take to get to the ball faster? Does he go through the ocean where the water might slow him down? Does he run through the sand and then swim in the water? Or does he run to a certain spot in the sand and then swim the rest of the way? My favorite part of the challenge was the whole production of it. Everything involving filming and thinking about how to put abstract and complex subjects into visually interesting shots. The most challenging part was everything involving pre-production. Everything like the script, storyboarding, and doing research and peer reviewing with my teacher. Just making sure everything was planned out for nothing to go wrong once I was in the production because time was a huge issue. Uh, besides, uh, well, knowing very well my subject, I learned that uh, basically everyone has the ability to make a compelling video in today's modern world. We all have access to cameras and phones and can easily make a video as long as we're passionate about it. And we can make our message be heard around the whole world. One thing you should definitely have is an organized schedule, so the deadlines don't eat you up. It's very important not to just jump in and rush into making the video without having a concise and clear idea of what you want. Remember that the videos, at least in my case, were five minutes, but I think now they're three minutes long, and you have to account for this to make sure that your video is not super rushed or filled with information but also not missing any. So it's very important to have it planned out. Hi, my name is Davina Potkedis, Breakthrough Junior Challenge finalist. 
My video was on gravitational waves, a theory predicted by Einstein and just recently confirmed. One huge problem was that gravitational waves are so tiny that a machine had to be built that was sensitive enough to detect these tiny shifts on the Earth. Another obstacle was that there is so much background noise on Earth that could mimic the results of a gravitational wave. The detector created had to be able to isolate gravitational waves coming only from space. The challenge is an amazing opportunity to expand your science knowledge beyond what high school textbooks teach you. You can pick a topic you are truly interested in and learn everything about it. You also get to learn about film editing, which I didn't know too much about before the challenge. And one word of advice, work ahead. As a perfectionist, I can tell you from first-hand experience, you don't want to be filling in the application two minutes before midnight. You want to have plenty of time to work out the kinks. I also know some participants had trouble with copyright issues, so try to use only photos from the public domain so you don't run into any issues. I never imagined that I would make it to the top 75, but keep an eye out for that exciting email. Also, make sure you have the contact information for your nominated teacher so the Breakthrough Junior Challenge staff can contact him or her. I wish you all the best of luck and hope to see you on TV someday. Enjoy the ride. Great, we hope you found that helpful. Actually, back when we joined, we didn't have any advice videos of this kind, so we were just kind of grasping in the dark for any information we could get. We hope that through this advice video, we could help you navigate through this process more easily and more smoothly. Also, follow these amazing people on social media if you want. They're all amazing human beings who do really, really cool things. Also, take some time to thank them in the comments if you found their advice particularly useful. Personally, I'd like to thank the friends who took the time and effort to send in these videos just to help this year's challenge participants. So I guess that's it for this video and maybe I'll see you next time.